up casters reloaders welcome to the eagles nest uh if you're interested to see if these little guys here gas checks will make a difference on a pistol cartridge such as a nine millimeter on your cast lead bullet stick around i'll be doing some testing so the cast lead bullets i'm shooting today are powder coated tumble lube 357 um, bullets that are 135 round flat points i opted in for the rg pins so the, uh, this mold here is capable of making some deep hollow points, if so desired. They also have the shallow hollow points. And for today's testing, I'm actually using just the flat pins that do not make a hollow point and make these things about a 134.6 grain after powder coating and gas checking. So the powder I'm using is HP38. Um, I've got a load worked up for my SIG P226 that makes these bullets, if I do my part, shoot extremely accurate uh, that are not gas checked. So I want to see today if these little guys here, gas checks, make a difference. Now this is a gas check made by aluminum flashing using Dima Prox uh, gas check maker. If you guys are interested in making your own gas checks, I'll put a link in the description below to read on the Reloaders Network on an article that I posted uh, about the gas check maker itself and where to buy. Other than that, I'm going to load these up. They're going to be the same powder charge. The ones that are not gas checked are going to be the dark green at 3.7 grains. The ones that are gas checked are these bullets here and are going to be the are kind of a brownish purple. So, I'll see you guys at the range. We're going to set up around 20 feet or even 15 yards, depending, um, and see if these little guys here, gas checks, make a difference. All right, guys, I'll be right back. All right, so I am kind of threw this in the last minute, and I'm also going to be trying out some gas check version uh, on a rifle cartridge. I'm going to be shooting my 300 Blackout AR-15, and we're going to try out some of these gas checked version HTC NOE or they're the NOE HTC 135 round nose. Uh, the green ones are going to be gas checked. The kind of purplish spotted ones are going to be non gas checked. I do also have a load worked up using CFE black around 20.5 grains. Puts these bullets at around 2150 FPS and about a MOA grouping at uh, 50 yards. So we'll see if these uh, rifle bullets make a difference as well. And, uh, Rifle velocities, you know, something over 2,000 FPS. And if gas checks make a difference, we'll find out. All right, folks, I'll meet you guys at the range. I'm going to finish loading these up and uh, see you out there. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is test out the non gas check 9 millimeters. Uh, this is the 135 non gas check. I'm going to be shooting it out of my SIG. P226 and I'm going to be at 15 feet through a chronograph so see how that goes right. looks like the average was 954 not bad so let's see if gas checks make a difference. I'm going to shoot up here, same powder charge. Okay, these are the gas checks, um, same powder charge. Let's see if it makes a difference. Kind of ran out of targets. I'm going to save the last two for the 300 blackout. All right, let's check out that group. Wow, that kind of tightened up. There is uh, there is the last uh, groups non gas checked, and you can see my uh, uh, impact point moved up a little bit. <sighs> that is an ant on me. So, and the center deviation numbers also did lower. So it looks like a, uh, they did kind of help out quite a bit. 
may just have to do a little bit of work, load work up, but um, that's not bad. Pretty happy with that. Uh, let's try out the 300 blackout and see if there's a difference. All right, so here's the group. Looks like I'm a little left. Point of aim was here, so not bad. Let's see if the non-gas jacks could do better. Okay, so these are the non-gas jacks, and uh, I'm gonna shoot the bottom target. Well, here's a shocker. I only got one on paper, but then my standard deviation number was 13 with a good average uh, uh, FPS of 2041. Ha, huh. I better check my barrel for letting. <laughs> so, looks like in conclusion, uh, for a gas checked bullet, it may you may want to opt in for putting gas checks on if you're using a rifle cartridge uh, the bhn on that lead was 23 they're water quench wheel weights and you can see there that these are the gas check versions and not a bad uh, not a bad group pretty uh, uh you know acceptable i'm using a red dot 50 yards and these were the non-gas checks and i swear i was aiming <laughs> I was uh, aiming here, so I only got one on paper. So as far as pistols go, it looks like a, uh, the gas checks did help out as well. It did tighten up the group a little bit. Center deviation numbers also did go down. And it's been fixing my leading issue, so pretty happy about that. And um, that's my conclusion so far. Um, gas check bullets. You know, if you're using a cast lead bullet with a gas check shank, uh, you may want to look in getting to get uh, getting gas checks um, just in case so you're not able to get a load try gas checks out and maybe you might tighten things up well folks i appreciate you guys watching and of course we'll catch you on the next video all right a little bit of bragging rights with a p226 i hit a soda can at 50 yards you beat me so <laughs> what did i do right did i hit it at 50 yards yes what would i hit Soda can. I hit the soda can. Way right? back there, bro, I was hitting a stupid red dot and it's not even shooting it. How many shots? Huh? How many shots did I hit? Oh, magnet. How many shots did I shoot? Um, let's see. Three. Three shots. <laughs> so, eagle eyes at it again. All right, here's proof. <laughs> see how it's all wet there? Here's the soda can. I had to set it up here, so there's a shot down here, and second shot I think I hit over here and then up here, and I was at 50 yards, so <laughs> I'll catch you guys on the next video.